what it did before. So today we were analyzing other groups' systems for security flaws, which means that we wanted to find ways that malicious people could get into their system and gain access to their server. So one of the things that we discovered that was wrong with the other team's implementation was that they were storing images that other users had uploaded onto their uh, service and anyone could access those images and look at them. We figured that out by changing the URL of their um, original website and we could find their uh, source code and like their directories that they stored on their server. And again, the purpose of right now is for you to discuss amongst your own groups kind of reactions to what you were just shown and kind of a prioritized direction. You might decide not to address some things given the scope of the course, you might decide to address everything. You know, what do you want to do? Uh, so one thing that was pointed out to us was that uh, users may be able to progress uh, very fast through the stages and maybe they'll miss something we're trying to tell them in a stage. So we're thinking about uh, implementing a back button as well as making stages harder to finish so that they don't accidentally double click and go through two stages. Our project is called File Sheriff and it allows people to send encrypted uh, files to anyone else on the site so that uh, it's not able to be read by anyone but the intended receiver. So privacy is a big issue in today's internet and uh, Google Drive doesn't really encrypt your files for you and that's the biggest file uh, sharing service that's usable by today's users and so we wanted to create something that provides you that extra security. Our project's name is Boxdrop and we're trying to work on a secure solution for deliveries of packages. So think of like a giant mailbox, except the only way to unlock it is by inputting a code into a keypad on this box. Something I like about this project is how interdisciplinary it is. Since we have millions of potential users to our system, how do we ensure the performance of the system while also ensure that the system is secure against potential attackers? Our project is called Gotta Captcha Them All, and what we're creating is a service to help test CAPTCHAs, which are um, used on websites to verify that users are humans, um, and that prevents bots from uh, taking down websites or trying to attack them and get personal data. So right now we're working on automating mouse clicks. So the idea is that once the user gives us um, the instruction set and the image set, we want to be able to classify those images on our web server and then be able to click on the correct images that match the CAPTCHA. Um, and so we need a way to be able to actually click on the images from a program standpoint. So one thing that's interesting and challenging about working with CAPTCHAs is that basically it's a 24-7 arms race. It's people are making better tools for their bots to attack these CAPTCHAs so they can get around things to do stuff like buy concert tickets automatically or stuff like that. Um, and then there are website creators that uh, need to stop bots to protect whatever their assets are. And so it's interesting for us being in that space because it creates some challenges. We're trying to work on tools to automate those things for automatic mouse clicks and stuff like that. And there are other people trying to stop that. Um, and so it makes it a fun and interesting area to work in.